Daily Mass Readings First Reading A reading from the prophet Ezekiel The Lord God said to me, As for you, Son of Man, obey me when I speak to you. Be not rebellious like this house of rebellion, but open your mouth and eat what I shall give you. It was then I saw a hand stretched out to me, in which was a written scroll, which he unrolled before me. It was covered with writing front and back, and written on it was Lamentation and Wailing and Woe. He said to me, Son of man, eat what is before you. Eat this scroll, then go. Speak to the house of Israel. So I opened my mouth, and he gave me the scroll to eat. Son of man, he then said to me, Feed your belly and fill your stomach. With this scroll I am giving you. I ate it and it was as sweet as honey in my mouth. He said, Son of man, go now to the house of Israel and speak my words to them. Responsorial Psalm How sweet to my taste is your promise. In the way of your decrees I rejoice as much as in all riches. How sweet to my taste is your promise. Yes, your decrees are my delight. They are my counselors. How sweet to my taste is your promise. The law of your mouth is to me more precious than thousands of gold and silver pieces. How sweet to my taste is your promise. How sweet to my palate are your promises, sweeter than honey to my mouth. How sweet to my taste is your promise. Your decrees are my inheritance forever. The joy of my heart they are. How sweet to my taste is your promise. I gasp with open mouth in my yearning for your commands. How sweet to my taste is your promise. A Proclamation of the Holy Gospel According to Matthew The disciples approached Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called the child over placed it in their midst and said, Amen, I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever becomes humble like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever receives one child such as this in my name receives me. See that you do not despise one of these little ones. For I say to you that their angels in heaven always look upon the face of my heavenly Father. What is your opinion? If a man has a hundred sheep and one of them goes astray, will he not leave the ninety-nine in the hills and go in search of the astray? And if he finds it, Amen, I say to you. He rejoices more over it than over the ninety-nine that did not stray. In just the same way, it is not the will of your Heavenly Father that one of these little ones be lost. <laughs>